What up YouTube, it's Daniel, and today I want to go over my Affiliate Marketing Mastery progress with you guys. So I've been in the course since the day it came out. I haven't been putting as much effort as I want to into it lately because I have been putting my attention into a lot of other things. But regardless of that, I still want to just give you guys an update and tell you what my thoughts are a month in and kind of just go over everything that I've been up to with Affiliate Marketing. So, Basically, I went through the entire course the day that I bought it. I skimmed through some videos because I already felt like I knew enough about those topics or they didn't relate to what I wanted to start. Because when it comes to affiliate marketing, there's one thing you have to realize and that there's so many different avenues and ways that you can use affiliate marketing that you kind of have to just pick what you want to utilize the most and stick with it. So for example, there's you know making a website, driving traffic with SEO, there's doing a YouTube channel, there's Facebook group, there's just paid advertisements to landing pages for products. The possibilities are endless and basically you just have to decide what you wanna do. So what I started doing was running advertisements to affiliate landing pages and I previously tried this before and I had the issue of Facebook Ad Manager would just block my ad because I would have an affiliate link on it and it would be like, oh, you know, we don't want to send traffic there. We know that's an affiliate link. We're not going to approve your ad. And I learned in the course that you can cloak them. So basically through my website, my website, like I get a URL, Alpha Lifestyle slash recommends product and Facebook doesn't dive any deeper than that first URL so then they accept it and it goes through and I can successfully run paid advertisements straight to their landing page and as easy as it sounds I would not suggest doing that at first guys I did it for three different products and they're all failures I got a couple sales on this one free makeup brush offer but other than that it was just a failure don't do that I repeat, do not just run a Facebook ad straight to an affiliate page without doing enough research on the page and the audiences first. Obviously, you'll have to optimize the audiences in the, at the beginning and you might lose a little bit of money, but I think my problem was the products I chose were just not good or not high converting landing pages because I was getting a good amount of clicks and they just weren't converting. So if you do decide to run paid advertisements straight to a landing page, make sure it is a highly converting landing page. Ask your affiliate manager if you're in Max Bounty or you know CJ Affiliates or something where there's a manager. And if you're not and you're using something like ClickBank or a different kind of affiliate network where you just pick the product and you don't have a manager, you can't really ask. Just make sure that it looks good or that it fits your standards of a landing page. Real quick, I just wanted to touch on this. The reason that I ran ads from Facebook straight to the landing page that was the for the affiliate product, I basically just have heard and seen in my work experience over the past couple of years that the less friction that you cause the consumer to go through in like the buying or the signing up process, the more successful you will be. So the less time that you have them filling out a form or putting in more information or scrolling or anything like that, the more successful of a close rate you'll have. So I figured, you know, instead of running them straight to my landing page and then they click through that and then come to this other landing page and have to do it all over again, then it'd be easier if I just ran them straight there. It makes sense, right? But I didn't have success with it. So try at your own risk. I'm just here warning you that, you know, be careful with that. It's funny because the course actually focuses most of its attention on generating free traffic, which is definitely what I would recommend everybody do. That is what I'm going to start doing now. I don't know why I jumped into paid immediately. It was a big mistake. So just in case you guys are thinking about jumping in paid right away, proceed with caution and just be careful. So beyond my failed ad campaigns, I have now kind of moved on and I'm starting to focus on free traffic and generating just free affiliate sales through my YouTube channel, through my website, and I started a Facebook group. The Facebook group that I started is called Lifestyle Mastery Group, and the link will be in the description. I'll also post a picture now. 
So basically, the group is going to be focused on just life in general. So whether you're an entrepreneur or you work a normal job, I mean, whatever it is, it's about living life to the fullest and just sharing your experiences and connecting with similar people. So it's going to be a lot of, you know, life events or just fun things or achievements or advice or motivation, just all kinds of stuff like that. So it's less focused on just the basic entrepreneur, like, you know, this is how you do this. This is how you do this. This is how you do it. This is how you do this. And more of, you know, experiences and motivation and kind of just uplifting things to inspire each other. So to summarize everything that I just went over, basically I have failed three Facebook ad campaigns where I was driving traffic directly to a landing page by cloaking the affiliate link. Failed that, proceed with caution if you're going down that route. If not, I suggest you focus on free traffic, that is what I'm focusing on now, the Facebook group, my website, and my YouTube channel. And if you can take one thing away from this video, I would say that just don't jump into it too fast and really absorb the course and absorb the knowledge. And this goes for anything, not just affiliate marketing, but I think I tend to make the mistake of I'll just, you know, want to jump in immediately and take action immediately. And that's good. And while that's good, it can also be bad because I might do something stupid like pick a bad product for Amazon or start paid affiliate campaigns when I could just be doing free and it really is just a live and learn experience and you might have to go through it yourself or you can learn from me but yeah if there's one thing but yeah if there's one piece of advice I could give you it would just be to kind of think everything through before you take action. Don't paralyze yourself, don't get paralysis by analysis, but don't just, you know, start going every which direction without taking proper thought and being smart. Last but not least, I just wanna let you guys know that I really appreciate you watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions about anything, guys, seriously, any questions about the courses, any questions about things that I've learned or things that I know, just whatever it is you guys want to talk about, I'm willing to talk. So yeah, if you guys want to talk, just hit me up. And once again, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.